everyone, it's Paulina. So this week I'm super busy with school and I was like, I'm not gonna have enough time to film. And I came up with this genius idea. Not really genius because I'm pretty sure every artist has done this, but we're doing a little painting with me. Here's how it currently looks now. I am done with the trash. This is a collage, by the way. This is just the underlayer, the underpainting. Obviously it's not completed whatsoever. It needs to have some form other than some splotch of paint on it. Today I'm planning on working on these, making them more detailed obviously, and the mountains in the background. My assignment for this was basically just to pick a theme and turn it into a little collage. Obviously I picked climate change, that's the only thing that I can think of. So I was like, trash, mountains, polar bear, air pollution, anything I can think of. Here's the original picture, I put it up here digitally. It is a bit windy today though, so I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing a voiceover or just talk in between takes. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna have lots of fun. I might even turn this into a little study sesh. So starting off, I literally had no idea where to start. <laughs> Because I was already struggling here trying to get the right shade and color and I finally got it and then I started painting it dark brown with some lighter rustic brown on top of that and later on you will see that I was just layering several paints in streaky like lines like strokes to create a rusty look. Mind you, this is my first semester where I'm actually taking painting seriously and putting thought and creativity into it because back in high school and even in middle school, my teachers expected us to already know everything about painting without teaching us more techniques that can improve our painting skills. And it's not like I'm bashing my previous art teachers because they were great at art and my experience with them was fun. I just felt like I had so much more potential that I never pursued in their class. Although going into middle school and high school, I did know the basics of painting but I never really improved on it because it felt more like homework rather than something I enjoyed doing. But now going into college, I have an excellent professor that is passionate about her job and has taught me many new techniques working with paints, brushes, and colors. And because of that, I felt more drawn to painting and I can see myself getting back into it even after this art semester. So how I first became an artist is quite a mystery actually. I'm kidding, that's a complete lie. The actual story is actually quite sentimental. It's one of those stories that's like, oh, the first person to ever believe in me type of thing. I was in third grade. I was just doing the assignment that my art teacher told me to do. It was just a self-portrait, but obviously I don't know her how to do faces at that age. I just winged it. I didn't really look at art like that to begin with. I was just like, oh, it's fun for me. I'm just gonna color and like make a face, haha, -ha, all fun and games to me. That's when my teacher came over and she was like, Paulina, this is really good. And I was like, no, I'm just kidding. I was like, oh, thank you. And she said, do you want to put it in the um, art rodeo? I don't know if it was a rodeo or just like in a little gallery. It had something to do with the gallery because it ended up in a gallery. But my teacher literally, she was jumping from student to student. But when she came to me, she stayed there for a longer and like telling me what to do and like what to change. I don't remember quite what she said, but she was giving me pointers to improve my drawing because she was going to send it off for it to be shown in an art gallery. And I ended up getting second place. And that was one of my proudest moments. I was like, I did not know art was gonna be this fun. I didn't even see art that way to begin with. It was just fun to me. That's really what jump-started my passion for it. And I'd never forget that moment. So then going into middle school, I was for sure planning on taking art classes all three years, sixth, seventh, and eighth. But it's just crazy how that one little event led to and is still leading me to my passion of art. Anything art-related, I love. Because from sixth to eighth grade, I was more into painting. Sorry about the wind, by the way. I was really into painting and drawing. And then from eighth to... 10th i'd say i was getting into photography i was taking photography classes in 9th and 10th and then i just kind of lost my passion 
from it. I didn't really see it as my thing, more like a hobby rather than a career path. Videography, video editing, that was always there. Ever since I was a kid, I used to love editing and filming videos. But I started really getting into it and learning more about it from 11th to now. And I'm a junior in college, so that says a lot. And then fashion, I feel like I got into it from 11th to now. By the time I was looking into videography, I was also looking into fashion. And now in college, I'm currently studying to be an interior designer. I know that seems kind of off track. I mean, kind of, because it still uses your creativity and skills. I'm studying to be an interior designer. I've always been into houses. My dad has always worked in houses, like changing cabinets and stuff. I feel like that's really where it came from. And I have always just loved looking at houses in general. But yeah, that's what I'm currently studying. And I am going to have video editing stuff on the side, obviously. Okay, here's what I have done so far. This one, obviously, I have not started on it whatsoever this one's completed obviously i'm gonna clean it up once i start on the sky this one i just still need to add the little red lines you see there and then clean it up as well Okay, I'm finally done with this section. Super cute, I'm really happy with it. I might change something in the end, but other than that, look how cute it is. This section right here, I took so long on it. It's coming together because obviously this is how it looked like before. Just splotches of paint versus the actual detail that goes into it. Very excited how it's gonna turn out. And I think I'm gonna stop right there for today. Here is my uncompleted, but it's getting there, painting. Like I said, today I worked on the mountains and the little air pollution tubes. And I think I'm gonna be working on the sky, smoke, and vegetation next because I wanna do the bare last since it's up close. I gotta do lots of more detail with that. But she's cute. She's getting there and I am getting this done by Sunday so I will be posting the results in the end only because right now you're like what is going on but I promise you I'm gonna fix it it's gonna look nice and I'm really excited oh, it looks so bad but anyways thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day bye